Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing Brady Series B's. I've been for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink the stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff. That Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This is the second time trying to do this review because I halfway forgot my intro on my last one. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, wherever I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight a super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, once I let the gas expel from my innards, uh, that's sexy and attractive. Boom! It's my Essinger shirt. One of two that I have. Uh, and if you are unfamiliar with Essinger, I wouldn't be entirely surprised. Uh, he is a guy who goes over there and makes music of the sort of electronic synthwave industrial variety. Um, really interesting stuff. Like, genuinely has a very cool range to his stuff. Like, certain things are almost kind of dubstep-ish, whereas, like, other things definitely have a heavier industrial. Uh, certain things are, like, kind of whimsical. Like, there, there's one song in particular where it's like, you could totally have that as, like, the outro for a cartoon, and it would be fucking awesome. But I really like this guy's stuff. I ran into him a couple years ago. Uh, he was on tour with a band called Cybertronic Spree. I really enjoyed his set. So much so that not only did I get merch, I even got a picture with him, and I took some videos of his performance. Those videos are on this channel, just in case you want to check those out. If you want any more information about Essinger, by the way, just let me know. I will definitely point you in the right direction. I think he's very cool. But anyway, what am I reviewing for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, it's in a bag because I'm ill-prepared. Boom! It's this. It is just a styrofoam thing. And then, boom, it is this. It's, it's burger and some fries. Specifically, this is the... Uh, da, 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 da. This is from a place called Fahrenheit. Uh, they do burgers and chicken and wings and boba and stuff like that. I'm not sure if they are a chain or if there is only one of them. If there is only one of them, then this will end up on my... Eating Out Illinois Playlist, which is a playlist for just local spots that I highlight. If it's not, then obviously it won't be there. But this is their Chicken Milana Burger, which, if it's a chicken burger, then it's not really a burger, it's a chicken sandwich. So, it'll end up on either my Burgers for Days playlist or my Chicken Sandwich Wars playlist as well, depending. But, let's take a look at it. I don't know what's... Oh my... I mean, I'm not going to lie, this does look sexy. It, there's gyro meat on it. I'm very happy about that. I'm a man who loves gyro meat. So yes, I think it's a... Okay, I think it's a chicken sandwich with gyro meat. And then, like, different sauces. Maybe... Maybe something like a, uh, a barbecue. Interesting, interesting. Let's get a picture. Maybe some bacon, too. Boom! It's this! It's freaking ridiculous, and I'm so... I'm so attracted to it. Let's give it a go. I must eat this now. Because this just looks like it's all the things. Like, they just were like, here's everything on our menu, and let's put it on a burger. I did that. Mmm... Oh, that's good. First thing I did was bite into a big old piece of gyro meat. Oh, gyro meat is wonderful. And you know what? It's well-seasoned gyro meat, too. Genuinely. Like, I've had some bad gyros. Go watch my uh, Mr. Grill Express review of their gyro. But I've also had really great gyro moments. Uh, I did, what was it? Uh, Giro's Express, I believe is the name of it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Different place, by the way, just, but they had excellent Giro's. This is actually some good Giro meat. Mm. 
I can genuinely say, in my entire life, I've never had gyro meat with bacon. And now I'm just wondering why. <laughs> this is wonderful decadent nonsense. <laughs> it's so hard to hold. It's absolutely ridiculous. But it's all the flavors and things. Um, so I have to give them credit, again, for the bacon. I just got through reviewing a uh, their Fahrenheit burger, which also had bacon. They use good bacon. Like a thick cut, thick cut bacon that like properly has some bite to it. So, you, oh, this is good, man. I am so down with this. It is an absolute mess. But it is wonderful. And the sauce is... Like, they used a barbecue sauce with their Fahrenheit burger, too. But either it's a different barbecue sauce, or it's just the combination of the other sauce that's making it, kind of giving a little bit of a different flavor profile. Because I actually like the barbecue sauce more in this one than I did with the other one. It's less sweet. It has a little bit more of that, that oomph to it. This is... And the chicken itself isn't bad. It's a little bit... It gets a little bit lost compared to everything else. If I'm honest. But, when you do actually get a decent piece of it, it is actually pretty good. So we got fried chicken, gyro meat, got some lettuce, I think some tomato, which I don't feel they needed to, but sure, why not? And then, yeah, I think they actually, I think they actually put tzatziki sauce in it, too. This is all the flavors. Oh. I love this. So, fried chicken sandwich with the gyro meat, tzatziki sauce, bacon, barbecue sauce, and like some other tangy sauce, maybe like a buffalo, almost. This is so ridiculously good. I never knew I needed this in my life until right now. I love this a lot. Uh, now, I hear you ask, but Brandon, doesn't that just get confusing with all the flavors? Surprisingly, no. Honestly. Like, the gyro meat always comes through. The bacon is bacon, and again, because they used good bacon... It comes through. The, again, the only thing that kind of loses out a little bit is the chicken. Chicken is decent enough chicken, but either they needed a bigger chicken patty, which to be fair would have made it so hard to fucking control, or a little bit less on everything else. And I don't need that to be, I don't need that sentence to be a thing because I really, really like this, man. It's, it's one of those things where, again, it's just, it's ridiculous nonsense, but it's wonderful nonsense. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes and yes. <laughs> oh my god, yes. So, like, I like, you know, their Fahrenheit burger. I mean, go watch my full review if you want my, my full thoughts. You know, I, I enjoyed it for what it was, but it, it didn't really, it wasn't anything super outstanding. This... I mean, I am not going to say that any aspect of this is the best incarnation of that aspect. If I had better gyro meat before, yes. If I had better chicken sandwiches before, yes. If I had better bacon before, yes, but surprisingly not very often. Like, genuinely very good bacon. But it's all good, and it all worked in one delicious, ridiculous, super flavorful, wonderful thing. I love this. That's why I like doing this show. It's so good. Um, and if I'm recommending it, look, it's not going to be for everybody. It is ultimately a ridiculous mess. But I think that if you're... If the way that I described it is appealing to you in its ingredients and in, you know, my 
my way of, you know, trying to present it for what it is. If that sounds appealing for you, go and get it. If it doesn't, then you're probably not going to like it. It is not elegant. It is, again, not the best version of anything, but it's just perfect. It's genuinely a perfect food item. I don't, I don't know that you could improve on this. You could say, oh, Brandon, well, you know, maybe if they did this, maybe... This is super good. Good on you, Fahrenheit. Again, the, the burger, yeah, that could do some, with some tweaking. This? I'm giving you a sitting ovation. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year, folks. And go over there and have yourselves a truly wonderful, nonsense tastic rest of your life. Because come on, man. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe there is some absolutely batshit crazy, ridiculous thing that you love. It doesn't even have to be food. It could be an activity. Maybe you're just over there and you're like, I like to go skateboarding while preparing jello pudding from scratch. I, that's not my thing, but I mean, hey, if you if you have the skill to pull that off, good on you. And I think my point with this whole little analogy is that it's it is moments like this where it's like, yeah, it's stupid. It's so stupid. But it's so wonderful, and it's just blatant disregard for its own stupidity, and it's wonderful. It's just, it's so good. I'm ending on that. Bye!